Hey guys, welcome back to Naughty Threads. Do subscribe to our channel and also hit the bell icon to get all the future updates. So today I'm going to be working on this bridal sari for which I'm using these kind of uh, long beads in the very first step. And along with that, I'm using my crochet hook number 10 and six strands of silk thread. Uh, the the pallu is like this. It's not very bright pink. Uh, it has lot of gold, so that is the reason for the base uh, step I'm using this color, the border color. So since I'm using beads in the first step, the right side of the sari is facing towards me, and I'm going to fix the knot here. As soon as I fix the knot, I'm going to work one more uh, single crochet right next to it. Then I will add this bead. After adding this bead, I'm going to lock it with a chain stitch and check where it reaches and fix it using a single crochet. And next I'm going to work one more single crochet beside that. Then I'm working 8 chains. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. So after working 8 chains, this will ideally reach here but I am going to work a single crochet like this. A little closer so that this kind of loops like this. It, it should form like an arch here. And then I am going to work one more single crochet beside the single crochet. So the baseline is very simple. This is how we will continue till we reach the other end of the pallu. But each time you add a bead, you will have to make sure you lock it with a chain stitch and then do two single crochets. To fix the bead. So again 8 chains. I finished working the base line and I have turned the sari. Now this step I am going to continue in the same color which is pink. So I am going to work one single crochet in the second single crochet and then around this bead I am going to work chains. So about 5 to 6 chains is what you can work around this kind of bead. But in case you have used a different bead then Accordingly, your number of uh, chains will increase or decrease. So after working 5 or 6 chains, you will have to uh, fix those chains using a single crochet here in the very first single crochet. And I am going to skip the second single crochet. So now that I have reached this uh, chain loop, I will start working half double crochets. So for half double crochet, we yarn over, go into the loop, pull the thread and come out. And we will have three loops on the needle. For the double crochet, we pass through the first two loops and then two loops. But what is uh, different in uh, half double crochet is we'll just have to yarn over and pass through all three loops together. So we'll see how many half double crochets are required to fill this gap. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 12 stitches will be good for this 8 chain loop. So this is how it looks. And then I'm going to skip the very next single crochet and fix it in the next single crochet. 
by working a single again so around this bead i will continue to work five chains and then a single crochet in the first single crochet so the reason why i am doing half double crochets here is because i don't want the arch to be too big if you want you can also do double crochets but your arch will just look like a regular arch so this is how it looks in the right side now what i am facing is the wrong side so it kind of uh, uh, forms that bump here and it it gives a very pretty look so that's why i am using half double crochets instead of double crochets so we'll continue this step in the same way and in the next step i'm going to uh, switch the color to this gold because the complete uh, body of the sari is gold and we'll also see how to add beads so it's a very simple step all you have to do is keep working 12 half doubles in this loops so finished working the arch and i have trimmed the first color here and i have attached my second color which is matching this body and in this step i will also be using these kind of tiny beads so these are like 2 mm size and uh, they are not metal beads they are regular uh, kuchu beads like this material so i'll start off in this single crochet here in this chain block i'm just going to work all single crochets because this is where i will be adding my tassel so about 4 to 5 or 6 uh, single crochets is what you can work here after that i will directly start working here so actually there is this chain kind of uh, formation i am not going to go below both the loops but instead i am just going to insert it in one loop like this so i'll work 6 single crochets like this so after six single crochets i'm going to add one bead slide it into this loop like this and continue working six more single crochets Oh uh, so once i add the tassels i will show how it looks in the end so this is the final look and for the tassels i have used about 120 strands and i have used both the colors just like uh, for the crochet part in case if your sari has more colors you can use the third color for the tassels alone or just repeat it 
so either ways i mean it's it's your choice so the design is extremely simple to work and it gets done uh, in less than 3 hours so in case you are a beginner and you take a lot of time in doing the tassel part then it might take 30 minutes more but otherwise 3 hours is good enough to uh, finish this kind of design and uh, here in this place where i have used these kind of uh, tubes you can replace this with anything of your choice and uh i think i already mentioned earlier if you want the design to look more grand then you can add some beads like throughout so in case you are adding beads uh, on the complete arch then use uh, smaller beads which is 0 mm so in case you are wondering about all this material it is all available on nautitreads.com so you can just check out the site and place your order we have uh, started shipping uh, within india for now and yeah in case you uh, you have not subscribed to my other channels uh, the kannada version of this video will be updated on naughty threads kannada so subscribe to that and also subscribe to kanika reddy vlogs uh, do check out my blog naughty threads.net and do let me know in the comment section what you think about this design if you try the design share the picture in the facebook group called the crochet club by naughty threads I guess that's all in today's video. I shall see you guys soon. Until then, take care.